Hi friends. It is 4 p.m. on Thursday, which means it is getting tipsy with Aaron day. Um, so I hope everyone is doing well. Um, you may notice that I have a different background than usual. Um, when I started these, I talked about potentially, um, hi Kim, I talked about at some point going remote from some breweries um, and breweries aren't open right now. So I decided to go remote from one of my listings. Ta -da! So I am remote from 115 Chancer Walk Court in Virginia Beach. Uh, it is a three bedroom, two and a half bath condo in the Great Neck area. Uh, it is a fantastic condo. Look at this beautiful decor in the living room, gas fireplace. There's a really nice patio out here, open living space. Um, it's beautiful. Um, there's engineered hardwood flooring. Just a nice, um, you know, different, uh, different scenery that I'm always looking at. Um, so that is nice. And I am going to start a watch party and then we're gonna start but it is, um, it is, hold on one second. Um, so it's Thursday, 4 p.m., getting tipsy with Aaron. Um, and today I'm talking about the 10 things that I am doing to detoxify my home. So right now I, um, again, am in one of my listings at 115 Chancellor Walk Court and it is a three bedroom, two and a half bath condo in the Great Neck area. Um, it is a couple blocks away from Virginia Beach General. You will not hear any noise from the hospital. Um, it's a great condo. All three bedrooms are upstairs. Um, there's laundry upstairs. The master's huge. If you would like a virtual tour, you can look at the videos. Um, they're in, if you look in the video section, they're there. They're also on my YouTube channel. You can find them everywhere. But, um, so today we are talking about the 10 things, 10 ways I'm detoxifying my home. Um, I know that we've all, you know, spent more time in our homes than we ever have in our lives. And so some people have started tackling home projects um, since you've been quarantined. I have not. Um, I'm actually going to start um, this weekend. Um, I have been extremely busy, but I'm starting to sort of level out now and getting everything taken care of. So now I'm starting projects. So um, I'd be interested if you have done any projects, um, if you comment below and let me know. Um, I'd love to know what are some projects you've done. I know um, Jess Tele is doing a bathroom remodel right now, because that sounds like a good time to do that. <laughs> um, but there's people doing a ton of projects. But today I'm sharing a new spin on a home project, 10 ways I'm detoxifying my home. So number one, um, I am running a home refresh challenge and you are welcome to join. So I'm gonna start my challenge on May 18th. And if you wanna mark your calendar, if you want me to email you a reminder, feel free to drop me an emoji or a DM. Um, and I will add you to the list and I will send you out a reminder when I start that challenge. But the challenge is gonna target some specific areas in your home um, so you can have a daily action plan for getting your home looking and feeling refreshed. So when we get out of this home quarantine or the blessed staycation, if you wanna call it from home, um, our homes are refreshed. Number two, deep cleaning the floors. Um, I am not very good at cleaning my home, um, at, like the deep clean of my home and, um, I don't do it enough. So, you know, we sweep, we vacuum, you take the towel and you wipe stuff up, but the true deep cleaning, um, we don't do. So this weekend we're going to, we're going to dig in and do the deep cleaning. Hi, Tyler. Um, I have found, I just did a, I, um, helped a client with a new home, new construction purchase. And with that, I found from their cleaning crew, um, it is called the O Cedar Easy Ring Spin Mop and, um, and Bucket. You can actually get it at BJ's for like $35. It's 
got a, um, a it's a spin mop and bucket. Um, but you can like step on the thing and it rings out the mop so you don't have to like, uh, um, so you don't have to do all that, you know, bending over and all that effort. You can just do it with your foot. It's amazing. So if you have um, wood surfaces, wood floor surfaces with a mop that you do, um, the O Cedar Easy Ring Spin Mop and Bucket with bonus refills, you can get it at BJ's for like 35 bucks. Um, it's a fantastic purchase. I just looked it up on my computer to see how much it was because I didn't get it at BJ's. So that's number two, deep cleaning the floors. Number three, make a no shoes indoors rule and stick to it. Um, I'm very good with this no shoes indoor rule because I actually very rarely wear shoes. Um, hi Desiree, I have often left the house without shoes. <laughs> Um, so it's probably that I should wear shoes indoors. Um, but when you are outside wearing your shoes and then you come inside with the shoes, you're bringing all that inside with you. So have a place, um, either if you use the garage to come in or you use the front door, whatever you use, wherever your door is, have a place where you can take your shoes off and leave them. Um, if you are a person that has to wear shoes, have a pair of house shoes um, that you leave at your front door. So... Um, you will take your shoes off that you have been wearing outside and you will put those house shoes on. I know I've seen the thing where it says that, um, you know, we're all working from home. So that wearing shoes during the work day, you know, makes you more productive or whatever. It's not going to help me. I don't, I don't wear shoes at the office because I'm usually wearing flip flops. Um, but anyway, um, so I've seen that. Maybe pick up a pair of shoes that's your like indoor only shoes or order some online or whatever. Um, and just wear those around the house for work, um, if that's your thing. Number four, buy green plants as natural detoxifiers. Um, I'm, I don't have a green thumb, and that's okay. Uh, you know, the addition of a green plant for decorating purposes is amazing, but they also can detoxify your home. Uh, hi, Renee. Hi, Tony. Um, if you have a hard time keeping them alive, just like me, it's fine. You can Google about how to keep them alive or um, Plant Bar, like I don't know if you know of Plant Bar Virginia Beach, they're amazing. Uh, I went with my friend Emily uh, and her mom and they taught me a lot and now I have several of their plants. I've gotten several plants from there and I've kept them all alive. Uh, I actually had them at my office and I brought them home when we sort of closed down the office so I have them at home and I've kept them alive there and I have more that I had at my at my house as well um, if you know my friend Maggie from Back Bay Brewing she loves plants um, or Emily Van Halen she is a succulent queen so feel free to follow them on Instagram and you will see how much they love their green plants as natural detoxifiers around their house Number five, um, replacing or adding water filters. So um, have you ever had your tap water tested for quality? Because not all water is great. Um, you can have filters added for both your sink or your shower if it's needed. Um, you also, if your fridge is any sort of recent, there's probably some type of reminder on there to replace your water filter. Ours has an alarm on it. Uh, we got a new fridge this summer. So ours has an alarm. It goes off every six months. And our water filter is so easy to change. I thought it was going to be super difficult. And it's literally like a boop, boop, snap in, snap out. Super easy. Um, so just remember to change those water filters. Six, buy cotton shower liner. I know that sounds weird because we're all used to like the vinyl shower liners. But vinyl shower liners, they're made with ingredients that are not great for you, like PVC and other toxic ingredients. Um, and with the when they heat up with hot showers um, and when they get dirty and moldy, they can just not be good for you. Uh, cotton liners, they still repel the water. They're washable um, and they don't have those toxic ingredients. So uh, Anthropology has them. Uh, you may be able to get them from Target. Seven, wipe down your light fixtures and your bulbs. Um, 
there's spots like that that we forget to look for for dust because a lot of times when light the lights are on you don't see the dust um, but look for those places think about it, like when's the last time you dusted off a light fixture um, especially like in your pendant lights or things that you don't like really stop at so this is a good thing for your detoxifying list number eight um, switch to all natural cleaning products you can even make your own um, all you need is some 16 ounce glass bottles with spray nozzles and a few simple ingredients you can add your favorite essential oils they smell clean and you can have that all natural clean spray to use nine um, switch from dryer sheets to dryer balls uh, have you ever taken your clothes out of the dryer and you feel like you had a film on them that was kind of gross it's the residue from the dryer sheets uh, instead of you can instead you can use the dryer balls um, and that they um, they're made from the wool and they're a natural alternative you can also add essential oils to those um, whatever your favorite scent is and then it has that scent that you like and then 10 clean your air vents um, you should be replacing your filters and every time I replace my filter I also clean the vent so I take um, I have a Dyson a cordless Dyson and it's got one of the nozzles on it, it has like a brush um, nozzle on it and I take that and I just brush off all the the vent cut the vent um, whatever slats um, and get that real clean because that it gets the dust out of your air vents but it also um, helps with spring allergies to get all that out of your air circulation of your house so um, those are sort of my 10 things. Again, probably my biggest is getting the floors cleaned, not wearing shoes in the house, green plants, clean your air filters, water filters, just, I mean, tons of great ideas. So, um, you know, make a list, get your home, start the home detox. There's a ton of things you can do, but thank you for tuning in to this week's episode at 115 Chancellor Walk Court. Um, if you'd like to see this house, I do have some virtual open houses um, that I have in my videos on my Facebook page, my uh, IGTV, and my YouTube if you'd like to see them there. Or if you'd like a showing, feel free to call me and I'm happy to bring you over here. Um, it's a fantastic condo in Virginia Beach, three bedrooms, two and a half baths, and I would love to show it to you. Um, don't forget to join my home refresh challenge later this month. I'm happy to sign you up for that. And then um, I'll be back next week. And next week I am gonna be talking about how do you buy a house during a pandemic? Uh, a lot of people keep asking me, they're like, isn't the market just not doing anything because you know we're all closed down? But um, I've actually had, um, I've had at least I've had six buyers write contracts since we've been in um, COVID precautions and I've had six closings, not the same, like I've had, I still have some closings on the books. Um, and then I have had six other closings for listings um, since we've had COVID, COVID precautions. So you can still do it. Um, and we're gonna walk through some of that. So if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. And I look forward to seeing you next Thursday. Thanks guys, have a great day, bye.